Hey everybody, I hope everybody's doing good and the new year started off right for you. Uh, like I said, I've just been extremely busy working full time. I've got some orders coming in I've been working on for my, you know, my flies, fishing flies and stuff like that. You know, like I said, I make a lot of crappie flies. This is one of them I'm working on, but I'll cut it down. And it'd just be this much for like the crappie and and everything. But um, I want to talk about two things. One of my sub friends asked me what I think about these bigger preppers on YouTube. If something happens, a depression or something, are they putting a target on them? on their self for showing off all their stuff they have. Um, I, really, I could be putting a target on me for coming in here talking to you guys, you know, but if a depression happens, which I believe it's coming, everybody is going to be a target. Because this generation, this younger generation, they're not going to worry about food. They're not going to worry about having a house. What they're going to worry about, what's going to drive them over the edge is not having this. This phone, these computers, this internet. It's going to drive them crazy because they can't play their games. Or they can't get on Twitter or Twitter or whatever, TikTok or whatever, that's going to drive them crazy and they're going to kill themselves or they're going to try to rob somebody to see if they've got a generator, if they got some way they can hook up and get on the web. You know, then you got your drug addicts, your pill heads, your drunks. They're not going to be able, you know, they still anyway to support their habit so the drugs are going to be shorter the pills are going to be in less you know they're not going to be around as much and they're going to go out and steal to support their habit then you got people who don't think nothing's going to happen and when they get hungry they see you in pretty decent shape and they're going to come and try to rob you to get your food so they can eat. So I think all of us who preps is going to be going to have a target on us, but the bigger prepping channels, you know, they might have a standing army behind them. I have no idea, but them, showing their gear and all this new fancy gadgets and new rides and new everything. In my opinion, they're, they're putting a bigger target on them. You know, they're making their, their self a bigger target. And, but that's just the world we live in. You know, like I said, I'm going to put, I'll be a target because I'm sitting here talking to you guys and they're going to think, you know, somebody never prepped before, it sees my videos, they're going to think, well, he's got a lot. Let's, if anything happens, let's go rob him. You know, that could be, that could be you sitting here watching this video at your desk and something happens and your next door neighbor don't, is not prepped. And they know, they see you bring in extra groceries in and stuff. They could rob you. You know, you could be a target. So it's not, it's not, that easy to answer that question all of us are going to be targets all of us no matter how big we are how small we are we're all going to be a target if something happens um a depression i honestly do see a depression coming this year it could be spring it could be early summer because the prices is going sky high. I just we would just went to the went to the grocery store, and where s generic spam was a dollar seventy eight a can, it's two twenty eight now. Now two weeks ago it was a dollar seventy eight because I bought a few. 
went back today, it's 228 for the generic Walmart brand of Spam. So, and the grocery store I work at, prices are going up. I'll order a truck, and I'm lucky if I get half of it in. When the grocery manager orders for the whole store, say he orders a 12,000-piece truck, he might get 5,000 to 6,500 pieces of that. The rest is, they don't have it. So, and the meat price is going to go up. I was talking to the um, couple of distributors. Salt, sugar, flour, coffee. By February, March, what's on the shelves could be it because it gets all imported. And meat price is going to go up. Everything's going up. I mean, day by day. And this gas is crazy. One minute it's 305, then the next day it's 281, then 279, then 294. It changes day by day. And I don't understand that. I think that's just the government and these big oil companies just playing with the consumer to see what how much more money they can get off of us. But I was talk I've talked to a few people about this. You know, they say, oh, you know, the government says, oh well, oh, we don't have no workers to get offload the, the ships that's out at sea waiting to be offloaded. To me, that's plain ass BS because we have all kinds of military bases and military ports around our country. If our military can load and unload equipment and troops to go to war or to go wherever, they can bring, the government can bring these cargo ships in and our military can unload them so they can get out to the warehouse so we can get it on our shelves. If they say they don't have, if these companies say we don't have the truck drivers, every branch of the military has truck drivers, has 18-wheelers that can be loaded and taken to the warehouses and these companies so it can be distributed to get to us. And a lot of people say, well, the union's going to get upset about that. They can't do that to the union. Piss on the union. I'm more, I ain't worried about a union. I'm worried about making sure I have what I need here for me and my boys. I could care less about the union. It's, but it's, it's just common sense. We can use our military to offload these ships and to get the supplies we need throughout the United States. But our government don't want to do that because, number one, that's common sense. And number two, that's helping the people. They don't want to do neither. Number one, they don't have common sense the left or the right at this point. And number two, they don't want to help the people, left or right, at this point. Maybe in another three years, it'll change. Maybe the, the right will fart and clear their brain up and start helping the American people out right now. Right now, me, neither side, left or right, is not helping the American people out. Because we're in bad shape. Prices are sky high. We are in a, such a bad recession, and around my area, they're building houses like crazy. They're building buildings like crazy. And I don't understand how they're doing it because the economy's not here. The inflation is three times as much as it was back in the 70s. If things don't change by late spring, early summer, we're going to be heading straight for a major depression, and it's going to be worldwide. It's going to hit worldwide. That's what I think. I'm not fear-mongering. I'm just 
what I see, what I read, what I hear. This can't keep going on. I mean, this idiot in the White House is wanting to send out more stimulus checks next month. And the, our dollar, there's nothing back in the dollar. It's They're just printing money out. I just don't understand it. I get a stimulus check every week. It's called a friggin' paycheck because I bust my ass for it. That's my stimulus check. But a lot of people don't want to work because they can get money from the government. They can get everything. Cars paid for, houses paid for, education paid for. Why do they need to go work? The government's, oh, stay at home, be safe, we'll pay for everything. You can't have a country like that and it survive from people sitting on their butts waiting for the government to pay. Pay them to sit at home. And that's going to lead, that's one of the things that's going to lead to a depression. I mean, prices are going high. Our dollar ain't worth anything. It, it's just, things is crazy. That's all I got to say. But what do you think? What do you see? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? How do you feel? Do you think we're heading for a depression? Do you think we're okay? You think it's right the government's sending out money that's not worth anything, really? I don't know. It, it, it's a lot. It's a lot to to think about to to comprehend. But that's why I'm not on YouTube a lot. That's another reason because I get on here and I just I am so. That's why I quit watching the news. It's Doom and gloom, doom and gloom, doom and gloom. And it's not like it used to be, you know, people making videos to help one another. Or sit down and talk. Hey, what do you think about this? This is how I think. What do you guys think? It's none of that anymore. It's go buy this. You need to stock up on this. You need to buy this $5,000 generator or this $800 light or this $1,000 backpack or because you're going to need it when it happens and it, it's just all doom and gloom bullshit to me and that's why I don't I'm not on YouTube a lot you know I've got better things to do than listen to that crap you know I'm drying my best by working my butt off at a full-time job, then doing my side job, it keeps me busy. Then on top of the boys, taking care of them, taking Aries plays lacrosse, taking them the, him the lacrosse. And I, I've just, I got better things to do. It's not, YouTube's not like it used to be. Where YouTube used to be a community and we helped one another. We talked about things. Now it's just doom and gloom. But anyway, guys, tell me what you think. I hope everybody has a blessed year. Be safe. Keep your head down and keep prepping. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.